Hello. On this video, we are going to go through the tools section of the website. So if you are on ctechny.org, you're looking for tools, MCTAC or CTAC tools, there are a number of ways that you can find them. So if you've seen our other videos, you know that if you go under trainings and you hit training here, you'll be brought to the training search. And if you search a specific topic, you'll see trainings and tools, or you can choose to search just tools as the format, the media format, and then you'll see all the tools that way as well. But we also have all of the tools gathered in one place under the tools section of the menu. So right up here at the top, if you hit tools, you will see a page with all of the tools that have been created by MCTAC, by CTAC, and they're all available here for you. So on this page, you can see a few featured tools at the top. And then as you scroll down, you'll see a whole library of tools covering a variety of topics from billing tools to data tools to guides for employment, guides for empowering individuals, family alignment tools, um, mindfulness tools, revenue cycle management tools, etc. There's a number of different tools here that you can utilize. I'm now going to go through a few tools specifically just to delve into them a little deeper. The tools that I go through are by no means the only tools. There are a lot of other great tools, and we highly recommend you just take a look at this page, scan through, and see which tools are most useful for you in your position at your agency and utilize those. So we're going to start by looking at the NCO plan matrix. So I hit read more. And I hit view matrix and the matrix will open. So what is the matrix? The matrix is your one-stop location for the contact information as well as other details for all of the New York State Medicaid managed care plans. So any of the plans that you contract with in New York State for Medicaid managed care can be found here and you can find their various contact information so that you can get in touch with them and you can also find some other details and helpful links as have been provided by the plan. So there's a few different ways to search. You can search by region. For example, if you want North Country, you can hover over that and make sure it has the county you're intending. You can click that to look at those, the plans that are in that region. You can search by county specifically. Let's say I want to look at Clinton County, I can click that. Or you can search by plan specifically. And so you can see all the plans are listed here. So let's say I contract with Fidelis. I would click the Dallas and I'll be brought to the plan page. So there's a page like this for all of the plans that do Medicaid managed care in New York State for behavioral health. And so you can go to those and find a lot of information. You'll see there's a number of different tabs across the top. You can also click all. And if you do that, you'll see all of the information for all the various tabs as a long scroll. But you can also look at one section at a time like this. So here's the general section here. You can see the counties that are covered. You can see provider relations, contacts, et cetera. We've got specific contact details for certain programs that have specific contacts. And you can view that all here. Okay. Now, most of the contacts across these tabs are for adults and children. If there is a child specific, so if you're providing services for children, and there's a specific MCO contact for that, it'll be under the children's tab. So on there, you can see the children's clinical director, the foster care liaison, uh, medically fragile liaison, et cetera, all available here for you to utilize. All right, there's also contracting, there's utilization management, um, there's credentialing, there's billing, and there's pharmacy. So let's just look at utilization management for a second. So you'll see here, especially in addition to contacts, there are links to more information and there are some grids here. So we've got some specific grids for pre-authorization for certain services. So right now that's available for CFTSS, children's HCBS, and Article 29I, other limited health-related services. So if you're providing any of those, you can click on one of these, let's click on the CFTSS one, and you can open a grid where all of the plans information about what they require for authorization and utilization management is present, and you can look at the plan you're interested in and scan across to see 
what the rules are. Okay. So returning to the matrix, you've got that available to you. You've got all these different sections of the matrix. And again, it's available for each of the plans providing Medicaid managed care in New York State. So you can find any of them here and find their contact information and other helpful links and information. And this is regularly updated in partnership with the plans. And that way it's a great resource for you to find all of this information quickly in one place. So returning to the tools page, we're gonna talk through just a few other tools. There is the billing tool. So this is an interactive claims form. So if you go to the billing tool, you will see this form right here. You will see all of the different fields that have to be, um, that are on the form, and it will show you which of them are required. If you hover or click on it, it'll show you what's required and any of the specific nuances for what's required. So you can see here, there's a specific code set, and if you click that, you'll be able to access to that information and any other details, like if there's a specific that, that a certain program recommends, et cetera, you can see that all here gathered in one place. And again, you can look at any of the fields you're interested in, curious about, maybe you've had a denial in a certain field, you can view that here just to see what the requirements are, if there's any nuances. This will also include if any of these are required by some but not other plans or vice versa. So here you can see not required overall except, and so there's an exception. So some, maybe one plan does require it. And so you can easily see that here on the billing tool. And the billing tool applies to behavioral health, outpatient, billing Medicaid managed care overall, so widely, widely applicable. We also have, which you can find on our tools library, a 29i health facility specific billing tool. So if you go here, you'll be able to find specific information about billing for submitting a clean claim for core or other limited health related services as a 29i health facility. So again, it's an interactive form. It works just the same way as the other one, but it's specific to article 29i. And so you can look through this and get information about the various fields, the nuances that the plans have, nuances about how it has to be completed, et cetera. So that's easily available to you. Okay. Delving in, we also have the documentation done right workbook. So if you click those, you'll be able to see a variety of workbooks that were created so that you can practice documentation. You complete these exercises. Um, so they each target a specific skill area. And so if there's one area you'd like to work on, you can complete one. If you wanna, if you're new to documenting, you can go across the board, you can complete different workbooks, but they cover a variety of topics as relevant to documenting services. You can see all of them here. You can also see some tip sheets. And there's also a quick video here available about what this series is and how to utilize it. We've got all of that available to you. And you'll also have a number of great clinical tip sheets available on the tools page. So here you can see you've got a clinician's tip sheet for working with child trauma survivors. And if you want to view that, you can view it in English or you can view it in Spanish. And just click that. And then you can save it or print it out, keep it in front of you as a guide. Um, we also have clinical tip sheets around working with trauma. So again, you can view that here. We've also got caregiver guides as additional information for if you're interested in a specific diagnosis, you can view more information about that. So if I wanna hit maybe caregiver's guide to childhood depression, I'll see that open. And so you've got the useful tips and guidance that you can view here, okay? All right, so those are just some of our tools that we have available. But again, we do recommend you take a look through and see which are useful to you in your job at your agency. But we do highly recommend you look at our tools, which can be found under the tools section of the menu on cpacny.org.